Over the years, farming has become more and more complex and that the farmers don't generally go into farming saying, I'd really like to uh, manage the books and finances and all that. They do it because they want to produce crops and they want to contribute to society and so forth. I'm Norman Epstein. I'm a professor of family science within the School of Public Health at University of Maryland College Park. We have a uh, training program here in couple and family therapy, and we have a large clinic in, in the department. So we see families uh, under stress all the time, a variety of types of stress. People individually show stress in a number of ways, and sometimes they don't even realize what's going on. That There's also often what's called a pileup of stress, that any one thing is somewhat stressful, but you sort of take it in stride, but then another thing happens, and another thing happens, and it, finally it's like a last straw thing that all of a sudden the person feels, you know, they have a, you know, sort of a blow up. At the individual level, some of the symptoms of stress that we see are, are depression, anxiety, actually anger and irritability, helping them step back and say, no wonder this is happening, and it's taking a toll not just on you as an individual, but on your family. Farming is one of the highest level professions for injury, so that you know a lot of people don't realize that, although when you think about it, it's not too surprising. The stresses of dealing with the ups and downs of the growing season, bad weather. Uh, we've had this year a tremendous amount of rain in Maryland. It's had a tremendous, you know, big impact on uh, crops and growing season and so forth. Farming is also kind of an isolating job. That, you know, One of the nice things is that, oh, I have my own place and nobody bothers me. I just go out and do my work. That's the good side of it. The other side is there, there's nobody around. And if you're upset, who do you talk to? A lot of you know, farmers are kind of independent people and take pride in that. And asking for help and accepting help can be a real challenge. So sometimes we have to have to talk through that. You know, what, what gets in the way of being able to say, yeah, I could use some help. Because it's interesting, people often have double standards when you talk to them. If a friend of theirs, another farmer down the road, was having a trouble, of course I would be there to help them. You know, and they, and they think, I wouldn't think they were weak for that, but... Well, if I ask for help, I'm weak. It's not um, unusual for people to at least have suicidal thoughts. Now, there's a difference between having thoughts go through one's mind versus actually making an attempt, but we always take everything seriously. If a person has had thoughts, that could, they could be on the road to actually becoming quite suicidal. One of the things that really is a, the, one of the major risks for suicide attempts is actually feeling helpless and hopeless, that you've got a problem and you don't feel like you can do anything about it, and there's no hope. Um, so that's where we often have to intervene and help the person start to see a light at the end of the tunnel, that even though things are bad right now, there are some steps you can take, starting sometimes with small steps that can re get some of the stresses off the pile. Not being afraid to ask questions. I think a lot of times people feel like they're butting in. A lot of people, including our family therapists in our program, sometimes are a little uneasy about asking somebody if they've had thoughts of harming themselves because they're, you know it's, it's a very touchy subject. It's kind of taboo. But if you break through the taboo and you ask the person, then they're usually not offended. They actually are, are relieved that somebody noticed and somebody cares. So we highly recommend doing that. Cooperative Extension, we have people in our department who are uh, part of Cooperative Extension. They have a whole bunch of online links to to, um, uh, to resources for farmers, farm families, for dealing with stress, coping with stress. There are lots of those that are available.